I don't know what's going on across the street, but somebody's sawing down something. Isn't that the way it is every time you decide to make a video? Everybody in the neighborhood's got to make a bunch of noise, but that's okay. It's not that bad. There's my lawnmower that I demonstrated before. It's actually been in the shop already the third time I went to use it. Stalled, sputtered, would not stay running. So they claim they put a new carburetor on it. I don't know. No way to tell, but it may be back. I had to actually go and borrow my old mower back. I've got it folded down right now just for transport, but it's still running fine after 10 years. It's just it's getting a little bit of worn. But anyway, on to what I was going to do on this vlog. This is show off your helmets. And first off, this is my regular helmet. I've got the replay that Big Bill gave me mounted on the side. I've got it mounted off to the right so that oncoming traffic doesn't see it quite so easily. I still like to stay, although it's not totally stealth, I like to stay stealth. And this is the one that I've got carved out in here. I've got a little bit, uh, I don't know if you can kind of maybe see it from there. A little bit carved out to use for some other cameras, including my Vado, which I still use. But this is uh, this is my main helmet. I always like the Bell helmets. I've got a brand new one still in the box, not even opened. Brand new backup of this one. That and Snell approved both. And then let's go to the next helmet. Oh, on the way to the helmet, let's stop at the bicycle. One extra thing I've gotten recently is these handlebar extensions, and they work out fantastic. I love this because besides just using the grips here, I can do a standard grip to the side. So these worked out even better than expected. Seven bucks and free shipping from Amazon. And uh, I've got a little bit of knurling here, but I don't really know for, for the way I use them, the smooth part works out the best. But yeah, that's my latest modification to my bicycle and I did get just uh, I'll do it in a video soon this is the package I got of the stem shifters so that I can put shifters like these here and get rid of on this bike here this is the one that usually my wife or my daughter when they come from a bike ride these things are horrible I've adjusted them and adjusted them and they've just got too much play and see how they even move around like that. Even if you adjust them so that they'll shift halfway decent, they won't stay shifting decent. So I think the stem shifters are the way to go because it ends up being you want to be on gear number three, but you're maybe halfway between three and four. And uh, yeah, just not worth the adjustment. So I'll get the stem shifters and take care of that problem. And then we will go with switching off these kind of tires, which are a little bit hard on the pavement, and go to a tire probably more like this style. Okay, so back to the helmets again. This is the one Navy Thomas. This is another Bell helmet. This is one Navy Thomas gave to me, and it's the only modular helmet I do own. I haven't used it all that much, but it's already got the GoPro mount up on top. I think Tom said for his purposes it either didn't fit well or he didn't like the uh, amount of noise. So I don't know. I still have yet to test it out real extensively. It's got a drop down, uh, um, what you call it, drop down set of sunglasses. Yet to try it, so. This we'll find out about in the future. And then I will show you, I have still got my original very first moto vlogging helmet over here, which these, as you can see, they're totally covered in dust. This is a, a backup version, which I really didn't even use. And I don't use this one anymore. It's it's the same age as the Kawasaki. I think it's, that would be 91, 2001, 2011, 23 years old. So I think these helmets have more than outlived their service. But you can see where I carved out there for a regular camera, one of those regular cameras, kind of like even what I'm filming with, that kind of looks like a, a side, if you turn your cell phone sideways, we had to kind of make stuff work back then. And this didn't even have all the parts to fix it, so I have another helmet over here that's not a useful helmet either, if you see way over there, that Nolan, that's just a parts helmet. My friend Lonnie, Brightex, he saw that online, and the interior of this helmet's totally trashed, but the person selling it, said about that that the helmet they, they had it for a real cheap price because the whole inside was trashed and all I needed was parts on the outside and the parts for the helmet that I needed were black they were these parts right here so I just stole them off of this helmet off of both sides and I even have some extra pieces left and so uh, yeah that one probably I probably should have thrown that away years ago after I bought it for the parts but I don't know why I, I just set it up there and never got rid of it and then this is a half helmet which I like the style, but I don't like the color. I had a white one that was similar to this. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit more. 
Okay, I'm fully zoomed out. This visor is from a white helmet I had that also got so old, the interior, this part in the interior, just basically was turning to dust. It was rotting so much. Um, this one I do like on the days that are not so warm, but on the days that are warm, I really prefer a white helmet. So since I had to get rid of my other white helmet, I ordered one recently, and it has a similar kind of visor. I'm not sure how I'm going to like the visor as much as the old one because I do like the old style, but it looks pretty cool. And... Uh, this is actually, some people think this is a novelty helmet, but this is actually, it's DOT approved. It's got the regular HCI, and I've looked at ratings, and people have done reviews on it, and they've said this helmet is very comfortable, and it's very good quality. And, uh, yeah, the very first white helmet I ever remember wearing was in the 1960s, and I think it was left over from the 1950s. It was metal. All this part was metal, and probably even had some dents in it from falling on the floor, but riding on back of my uncle's Indian. But this has got a... See, the padding, it's not super thick, so you don't like look like mushroom head, but it's got enough padding to uh, pass the dot standards. Um, didn't cost that much. I think it was something like 38 bucks, something like that. Fits really well. A medium is truly a medium size. You can see the medium sticker still there. I haven't peeled it off. And then these things just screw on with a flat-bladed screwdriver for the visor. So I'm not really sure if I could replace it with this old-style visor. I would kind of even prefer this old-style visor if I can, but haven't taken it apart to see. So, yeah, just on occasion when I want the feeling, and I still want some safety, though, but I want kind of the feeling of back when I used to not wear a helmet, which um, I don't even think once a year even now. Maybe once every other year I'll even ride even a block without a helmet on. I just, it doesn't feel right anymore, but that's what I use right there. So, anyway, actually, you know what? Instead of making a separate video, let's actually open the package and look at the parts. Okay, we've got metal handles, which is even better than the plastic handles I have on mine, although I will have to say um, the plastic handles have never been a problem. They've never come close to breaking. I don't know if they've got metal underneath them or whatever, but yeah, here's the basic setup from Sunrace. Um, didn't get the cheapest ones, didn't get the most expensive ones, but got somewhere in between. Maybe to get a little bit better quality, hopefully. But yeah. Very soon, if I can figure out how to do it, these will be going on the blue bike. Okay, so that was a little bit of tour of my lawnmowers, my helmets, and my new modifications I'm going to be doing to the bikes.